course, we got the Gobblers up here at the top oh, yeah. with 2,000 ETH in volume in the past 24 hours uh, and 17.6 uh, floor price. So impressively holding its floor price through the reveal. Uh, these are almost, I, I, you almost can't show this probably on um, YouTube. But we're going to anyway. Uh, they are all animated and they are all absolutely disgusting. Some of them, of course, are more disgusting than oh, others. Dude. I love the dick feet. It was so, it's they're, so they're funny. quite the, the unique, though. Feet. Yeah. And the, a lot of them have strap ons. Uh, yeah. 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 This, you know, yesterday we were saying how difficult it would be to describe this project to normies. And then the reveal happened and it became even more difficult. Because yeah, not only do you have just... to describe the concept, you then have to show them the art. And, you have to uh, show them and then and then remind them that they're like twenty thousand dollars. <laughs> yeah, that this is a twenty five thousand dollar NFT. Uh, yes. Yeah. Um, yeah. And uh, yeah. <laughs> and uh, yeah. Oh, here we go. Here's one of your favorites. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Dude, the dick was so funny. <laughs> This explains your feed. <laughs> yeah, it does. Uh, but, you know, this project. So, OK, so there's lots to say here. So we've got the the goo documentation from Paradigm. Um, Paradigm is, of course, the the technical uh, and the development end of this project. And uh They've t they're taking care of all of the yeah the technical end and uh, this is probably about the size of um, the largest Harry Potter novel and uh, it's worse because it has math it's like Harry Potter yeah. with math uh, but yeah all this is saying is number go up as far as I can tell um, <laughs> I mean look at that it's big oh yeah no, the supply that's the of supply. goo yeah. Exactly. yeah uh so um i'm i still have not read through this and figured this whole thing out uh as far as i can tell so here here we'll just do the overview all the art gobbler nfts belonging to a given ethereum account squirt goo into a goo tank that's associated with that account the owner of that address can add or remove goo from that tank at any time so it's like a goo it's like a goo wallet, a wallet. essentially yeah. yeah it's a wallet uh Art gobblers squirt out goo at a rate proportional to the square root of the goo that is already in their tanks. Each gobbler has its own multiplier, which describes its base rate of goo squirting. We automatically compound this instantaneous issuance using a differential equation, math, uh, lazily evaluated so that compounding can occur over arbitrarily long time periods without any need to spend gas. Decipher that, that, that sentence. I yeah, exactly. Who uh, inflates quadratically over time, significantly slower than the exponential inflation common to most token staking schemes. Because goo issuance is at its optimum when goo is held in proportion to a user's gobblers, Users are incentivized to hold goo and gobblers in proportion because the overall rate of goo emission is always increasing. These incentives remain strong regardless of how much goo has already been issued. Due to some very fortunate math, having many gobblers whose multiplier sums to a given total is the same as having a single gobbler whose multiplier is equal to that total, mm -hmm. ensuring the system stays fair even if some users accumulate large number of gobblers uh can you imagine just the big brains sitting around in a conference room trying they, they've got pictures posted up Dude. right on the Dude. board i know i've seen that i wanted i wanted they've to got be these the fly and they're the, doing math the wall. next to it they're doing math to... next to these photos <laughs> and they're trying to make this all work um yeah uh -huh. we need simulations exactly uh i expect more from does it say in like the rarity what the goo multiplier is on the the gobbler? How uh, how do you find the multiplier of your gobbler? Uh, uh, dude, and you're so asking it, big. Oh, multiplier nine of nine. 
Okay, so that's good, so huh? Does this one have a high multiplier? I guess. Uh, sure, dude. That must mean good. Um, right? That's a nine multiplier. Of can nine. You, like, I, can you that check? Sounds good. Can I search by multiplier here? Like, oh yeah, there... you can here. Okay, so I want to see all the ones with and, the shittiest multipliers. And so you got to be taking goo out of. Your, it sounds like you got to be taking goo out of your tank. Uh, at least some of it, right? Because your tank will get too full. Is that basically? It? And so then your multiplier, your well, the amount of goo you get is less. It's like six is the lowest multiplier. Uh, yeah. Is I don't know. Right? I don't know. You just uh, repeat what you just said. This is like so, high level shit here. So, so repeat the tank, what you just said. Yeah, the tank holding your goo. Mm -hmm. It can't. Like as it gets full you get less goo, right? And so you're actually incentivized okay, to actually right. take goo out of your tank. Seems but like enough that's in there correct. to kind of like keep it keep Yeah, that it seems working right. optimum level, basically. That seems right, yeah. Uh, dude, I mean, definitely some development genius going on over here. They've got some good developers over here. That's for sure. Um, now... Okay, so let's real quickly a couple things here. Let's look at. Uh, I want to see the analytics here. Oh, floor is now eighteen. Right. Okay. So ha holding steady and it just increasing. I mean, the reveal. Yeah, there was a little bit of a pop and drop, but I mean, it held. It held. It's the, held. It's held. Yeah. It's so I would say I'm. I'm high. impressed. I'm impressed. See, uh, yeah, with floor is eighteen. So yeah, yesterday it was like twelve, right? What it's overtaken, uh, it has overtaken the. I mean, it's clearly overtaken the, the mutants. So, uh, you know, can we hold Shit. this spot? That should have been when I should have just fucking shut my mouth up and just fucking got at 12. Yeah, you, you know? should, you should shut your mouth, boy. Uh, now, well, I was like, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait till after reveal, it's gonna dump, and then I didn't really I, see it go under the because I was like, gonna be like, go really maybe get under 10. And I never, I never saw it go under ten. Okay, now here's where things get spicy. Ready? You ready for some spice? Yes. We got it. You know, this show is nothing without a little spice. Uh, so, Polly, the drama. I, last night, I'm I'm laying in bed, literally, and I start. Oh no! Twitter. You're you're, li and you're I'm like, looking at Twitter. What in, the, in God's the, name, is all of this? Uh, so of course I follow Polly. You know, I gotta follow Polly for his to see what he's spewing uh he's dude is there a day we won't say the p word on this show i don't think so um so now there's these accusations that save our children that that uh justin oh, no. roiland could be a uh, p word um now these are coming from a couple different things okay so let's start over here so there was these uh, these messages, these Facebook messages from somebody who had this is actually from a couple of years ago. They had uh, put these on their Tumblr. They said Justin Roiland had been this person was 17 and he was pretty much trying to get them to meet up with them in Vegas. And he was asking if they were DTF and all this stuff. Uh, and he said, unless you're a homo and that's OK if you are uh, I have some girlfriends you might like. Anyway, um, so this person was leaking these, pretty much saying Justin Roiland was a creep. Um, so these are now resurfacing, okay? Now, my question is, okay, even if, like, let's say all this stuff is true, right, before we go any further, would this have any effect on this project? Do you think this would affect this project at all in the macro? Well, is this coming out now, like, or is this like an old feat, like an old thing that happened and then kind of blew this, over? And now it's coming back again. Yeah, essentially, it's just being redug up because of well, uh, this project. It didn't hurt Rick and Morty, obviously. So I don't know if this is going to do anything. Like, yeah. So that's the question. I mean, Rick and Morty is a little different though because it's not a crowd. Like, it's not a project owned by a bunch of random people, right? It's like. There's like two people who make a decision on whether Rick and Morty is going to continue. Oh, so this whole like thirteen fake thirteen year old account was actually yeah, done that by too. the government. That too, yeah. We got all kinds of controversy. So that wait, 13 -year -old I, I thought I didn't know that was, was a gobbler thing. I thought that I, I just thought that was like the. Uh... 
Yeah, that was a wow. gobbler thing done by the Paradigm, one of the people at Paradigm, um, that uh, co company that, 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 that is kind of working on this project with Justin Roiland. So they, they got, uh, so yeah, they, there was that 13 year old thing too, which was kind of weird as well. Um, that was, yeah, it was like LARPing as a 13 year old promoting crypto projects, kind of strange mm -hmm. as well. Uh, but so you've got these, these weird messages, then people start just digging up, um, these oh strange skits. Dude. Okay. Uh, these very strange skits where these, uh, things with like, um, oh my see, God. uh, these like naked kids that then he like, uh, takes into a, like a oh wait where is it any let's see goes and he's like cutting their faces off and wearing their faces and then stabbing them and fucking the stab holes um so people are just like you know getting offended <laughs> overall well yeah that's <laughs> obviously meant to be fun <laughs> stab holes dude yeah uh this cartoon is very oh violent God. and creepy oh. um and, oh, uh, let me guess. It triggered some people. Oh, it definitely triggered some people. Uh, so, yeah. you know, I mean, the question is, right, because it's 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 kind of like, you know, the board ape, the writer rips board ape thing. Right. It's like. If accusations are made, does it affect the project? Right. It's like, uh, you know, and again, where like Rick and Morty, you know, all the the only people making decisions are the execs at the the studio. Right. Uh, whereas in a project like this, you have to keep the faith of the community going. Um, now, I do think yeah. the community for Gobblers is pretty degen. So uh, so there's that. They've yeah. had no they're not they, they've had no uh, shortage of controversy, though. You had the whitelist influencer pump controversy. Now, you know, there's these checkered past uh things coming up this strange jelly That's mr just, jelly bean looking character cutting children's faces off yeah um, that i mean it's all fucked up cartoons it doesn't mean it's like a either pedo or anything yeah the text messages to um what the 17 year old guy girl girl, girl? Yeah. yeah um I guess she she was saying in the, the so what she said was she had posted that she, that she had just turned you know she it was her birthday and then he messaged her and was trying to get her to meet up with him in Vegas and said like unless you're a homo um, and then I could introduce you to some of my girlfriends and all this stuff I mean definitely uh, you know not great of course um, well, but uh, yeah. Definitely not great, not a great look. But again, I mean, will it's not, it? Will I, I it guess I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna lie. I, it is. It is. Right, Seventeen's young. But I mean, that's pretty fucking. I mean, that's like you're. Well, you're, how old you're is he? Yeah. yeah I don't know how old is he. I mean, uh, I, anyway. Uh, it, certainly, um, certainly a little bit. Now, uh, of course, then people start pulling up these weird Dan Harmon skits where he uh, has sex with babies to uh prevent them from being psychopaths or something oh, anyway, uh, geez, that's him yeah oh my god so anyway yeah. it's just oh, it was uh god. it was a rabbit hole i, I didn't want to get into but that i just fell into thanks to Polly. thank you Polly, for dragging me down into the depths of of the disgusting parts of the internet. Um, so I don't know. I don't think that these are really going to affect the project. I don't think they're going to stick. Uh, and I think it's, you know, I think the, the clout of paradigm and uh, the <laughs> Mr. Jake Prophet's face right now, he can't stop cringing. <laughs> yeah. There's multiples of those of Dan Harmon, like, um, uh, yeah, doing the that with weird baby dolls. It's very strange. Um, anyway, uh, I guess. <laughs> He's still recovering. This explains Crapopolis. <laughs> explains everything, I think. Explains everything. Crapopolis was chickens. 
It was just chickens. Yeah, that's interesting. That's this was this is not the first uh Rick and Morty crew NFT project. This is this is definitely this is the closest thing. I to never like saw Crabopolis though. Was it a messed up uh was it a messed up show? Did it even air does it air yet? Uh I don't know, dude. Um <laughs> Look at it. it's just tough. <laughs> I know. See, yeah. it's, it's like, don't, I can't, dude. I just, I'm like, I'm trying, I'm trying. I was like thinking of like, oh, well, this guy might not be that bad, but I'm like, okay, well, th- he's really uh, setting himself up here with this previous content he's made. Uh, yeah. He's so setting himself up for these accusations. Stuff. Right. So yeah. it's kind of like, I mean, there's spiciness here. And then, you know, the gobblers come out and it's like, oh, yeah, of course, they're very weird and sexual creatures, strange artwork for sure. Uh, so um, but uh, like I said, I guess, you know, what we're here to do is not to judge yeah. the them uh, based on these accusations. That's for the court of uh, public opinion to do. Right. <laughs> and but what we're here to do is to figure out will this affect the price of this project in the long no, term? No, it won't. And uh, yeah, the, I don't think it the, will. The reason is is because uh, uh, you know people don't give a shit about this kind of stuff really because I, I think I think well, they like, already know the like the rude shit they make. Yeah, exactly. They already know I mean, like the fucked up shit the dude makes and stuff like that. They're they're buying it because the uh, you know they're gonna get goo and they're gonna be able to do this artwork page stuff and waste their money goo on it and i mean all it's all about money that's... in this market it is in the end it's about yeah, money exactly like and then the art with is these, with the these, art is um, you know part of what makes it viral and and crazy but yeah and it's really and, about the money schemes right the, 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 and this dude is a vile comedian in the first place right so it's like he's 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 not a it's not super surprising right that's right kind of Right, it's it's kind of like and and people do fucked up shit to try to get famous and stuff. And when you're when you're in Hollywood, you're gonna do fucked up shit like fuck baby dolls and weird. <laughs> shit. Oh God! But I think, oh my I, God! How is this our YouTube channel allowed to exist after this week? I would be surprised <laughs> this a bit. if we don't get some strikes. I mean, we 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 need our first strike. I mean, are you really? Are you controversial enough of a channel if you haven't gotten a strike yet? Well, and then it's it's also just like this kind of, um, you know, the, the crypto, it, it's kind of, um, I don't know. I, I guess the question is like, yeah, how, is, is it going to be canceling him, right? Well, is this, Web3 is, is on pause, bro, until that shit leaves, okay? I don't know who David Horvath is, but he has declared that uh, he's the creator of Bossy Bears, he is represented by CAA, but uh, Nick Jr. It's not interesting. Uh, but he says zero tolerance for pedo anything will not pass. End of line. Web three is on pause. Yeah, see, that doesn't even make sense, bro. It's not going to pause. <laughs> <laughs> A shilling villain. What do you mean? Yeah, what the Uh-oh. fuck do you mean? <laughs> Yeah, I know he Shilvan Villain was talking about this whole thing in his space last night. So yeah, I know, oh, I really? know. I mean. Uh, <laughs> Anyway, yeah. So uh, that's that's the 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 controversy surrounding the creators. I mean, it's hard. Again, you know, it's one of those things where you're like disgusted by what the dude has done and everything. At the same time, like I love like his work's hilarious. I laugh at it. I enjoy it. You um, like that? You really like that one where he cuts off the child's face and then does the stab hole thing? No, I haven't seen it. Ha- I will so watch that after this. Yeah, um, I'm I'm, a, I'm not gonna play it because I'm just. Like, <laughs> I don't think we should do that here. Uh, I downloaded but, the video in case we were, uh, you know, but I just, I'm like, no, nah, we don't even do that. We can just I'm not, it. Um, yeah, it, it's just kind of like one of those things where it's like, God, this guy's all, all jacked up, but, it, you know, the, his work's pretty fucking funny. You know, I laugh at it all the time. I watch it. It is... It, I can't can't cancel everyone. I mean, until this guy. <laughs> every guilty. big project, the the Polly and Ryder crew come out and know, try to destroy all our fun, all our money. Everyone's everyone's got skeletons in the closet. You know what I mean? Of course, like... Take Profit likes it. <laughs> Look at his feed. The evidence is there. Uh, I'm just not like um, uh, this. This you're not uh, phased. 
Well, you were um, you were phased. I saw I, dude, I saw the face. Uh, it's disturbing, bro. But yeah, I, I scrolled quickly past that too, so that we wouldn't have to see too much. <laughs> Last night, though, I'll tell you what I was staring. I was just like, "What?" Okay. Uh, my girlfriend was like, "What are you watching?" I'm like, "Uh, nothing. 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 Just just Twitter. Looking just at Twitter. Some crypto stuff." Yeah. <laughs> I just, oh you know, God. um, I know what I mean. What I like about his work is his, uh, you know, Rick and Morty, and you know, the Gobblers. I think is pretty, pretty genius. It's pretty good. Um, just, uh, yeah, I don't know, man. I, 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 I just, I'm like, uh, I hope he's not. You're not in it. You're not in it. You're not in it. You're not just part of his art. Personal you know? friends. You're not in it because you're personal friends with him. You're saying. You're in it because uh, you 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 the artwork and the potential for money. That's what you're saying. Yeah, and I think yeah, that's the funny. overall market. I mean, again, like, the, dude, that 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 Yuga Fud spread way more than this has, and that didn't affect the price of apes at all. So not not necessarily. Yeah, I mean, it, it, apes is all pretty much just gone down with the rest of the market, but not like tanked down to zero because of that fud 